In this tutorial, I'll be show you how to prepare your Android app for publishing in the Google App Store. By following the steps in this tutorial, you will ensure your app meets Google's developer program policy prior to submission. Before you prepare your app in the Google Play Console, you will need to complete a few steps inside your BuddyBoss app's settings. Firstly, you will need to have enabled and set up in-app purchases if you plan to sell in-app content directly in your app. If you decide to limit purchasing of your in-app content to your website's payment system, you should not display any order pages within your app. You can learn how to set up in-app purchases in our in-app purchases tutorial. Next, if your app has social networking services or user-generated content, it must include the ability for users to report content and block other users. If you are using the BuddyBoss platform, you can use the moderation component to fulfill these requirements. You can enable this in the BuddyBoss platform component and then configure it in the moderation page. You can learn how to set up the moderation component in our moderation tutorial. Next, you need to ensure that you have registered your application ID in the Google Play Console by uploading a build to your app. You can do this on the Android settings page, which is in the configure section of the BuddyBoss app settings. Please review or configure your Android app tutorial for more information on registering your application ID. Once you have completed these steps, as well as set up all your app's settings and content, you will need to generate an Android release app build to select when submitting your published request. To do this, go to the build page in the BuddyBoss app settings, then request a build and request an Android release app build. For more information on how to generate builds, watch our Generating App Builds tutorial. Next, let's prepare your app for submission inside of the Google Play Console. In this tutorial, we will only go through the steps required to submit your app for review, but there are additional ways to configure your app inside of the Google Play Console which may be useful for you. First, you will need to invite the Valdivos publishing team to your Google Developer account, so they can submit and manage your published request. Log in to Google Play Console with the Google account you signed up to the Google Developer program with. I got mine open already. In the sidebar, click on Users and Permissions. Then click on Invite New Users. Type apphelp at buddyboss.com. Ensure that access expired is unchecked. After your app is published, you can remove BuddyBoss from your account. Next. Under Add App, select the app you wish to submit a publishing request for, BuddyBoss Tutorials, then click Apply. Click Admin, giving all permissions, then Apply, and then click on Invite User, and send Invite. OK, now let's prepare your app. In the sidebar, click All Apps, and select the app that you want to prepare for publishing, in this case, BuddyBoss App Tutorials. In the dashboard, scroll down to the Set Up Your App section and click on View Task to expand it. Then click on App Access. Google will need full access to your app in order to complete the review. If you have any content restricted behind logging in or a membership, you will need to check All or Some Functionality is Restricted. Then click Plus Add New Instructions. Enter a name for these instructions so Google can recognize the scenario they apply to. For example, for users in the US. Then Provide the username and password for the reviewer to log into your app, as well as any instructions to help guide Google with the review. Then click Apply, and then click Save. Go back to the dashboard, and then click on Ads. Select whether your app contains ads or not, and then click Save. Then go back to the dashboard and click on Content Rating. You will need to complete a questionnaire so that Google can give your app rating. Enter an email address which Google can contact you if they need to discuss your content rating. Select the category which best describes your app. Then click Next. Now, complete the questionnaire questions and click Next. You will be provided with a summary explaining the content rating given to your app by Google. To finish this section, click on Submit. Go back to the dashboard and then click on Target Audience. The options available in this section will be based on how you have configured the previous sections. Complete all steps and then click Save. Save. Now let's go back to the dashboard and then click on News App. Select whether your app is a news app or not 
and then click save. Go back to the dashboard again and then click on select an app category and provide contact details. Category and then store listing contact details. And then click save. Go back to the dashboard one more time and click on set up your store listing. In the sidebar, click on my store listing from the growth section. You will need to confirm the name of your app in the Google Play Store. It should be concise and not include price, rank, any emoji or repetitive symbol. Next, enter a short description for your app. Users can expand the short description to view a full description, which should highlight your app's features and functionality. Next, you will need to upload an icon for your app in the Google Play Store. Your icon must be in the PNG or JPG format and can be transparent. The recommended dimensions are 512 by 512 pixels. Then upload a future graphic. This one will help to promote your app in different places in the Google Play Store. Future graphics must be in the PNG or JPG formats and the recommended dimensions are 1024 by 500 pixels. Finally, you will need to enter between 2 and 8 screenshots for your app. Screenshots must be in the PNG or JPG format and have a 16.9 or 9.16 aspect ratio. Depending on whether your screenshots are portrait or landscape, screenshots should not be less than 320 pixels or more than 3840 pixels. Please note, if you have already published a version of this app to the Google Play Store, changing these details will immediately send them to Google for review. Next, in the sidebar, click on production. Apps released on the production track are available to all users in the Google Play Store in the countries and regions you select. To configure this, click on the countries and regions tab, then click add countries and regions. Then select which ones you want your app to be available in. To select all, check the top checkbox and then click add countries and regions and confirm. After you're configured the countries and regions, you need to prepare a new production release of your app. If you registered your application ID by following the steps in the Configure Your Android app tutorial, you will already have a draft release waiting, in which case you can click the Edit Release button. If not, the button will say Create New Release. Please note, if you currently have a release in review by Google, you will need to wait until the review is complete or cancel the release in order to create a new release to submit through the BuddyBoss publishing service. Now let's continue and give your release a name. This will be how your release will be referenced in your app's release history. We recommend using the build version of your app, for example 1.0.0. If you leave this blank, the build version has the release name. Next. Enter the release notes for this release. If this is your first release, we recommend describing the key features and functionality of your app. Next click Save. Once you have completed all the steps above, you can submit your app version in the Publish section of the BuddyBoss app settings. The BuddyBoss publishing team will upload your build to the release prepared and submit it to Google for review. When submitting your publish request, you can also request that BuddyBoss Review your app prior to submission, this will increase your chances of approval and respond to questions, requests and rejections from Google. Publishing through the BuddyBoss app settings will be covered in our Publishing to Google Play Store tutorial.